There is a classic mayonnaise that brings out the traditional French in three levels of tanginess. The mild classic, the medium classic, the strong classic. Tangy, the way you love it. Made with love by Clover. Welcome back to the show. Now move over boiled egg salad. Our <laughs> next egg inspired recipe is a scotched quail egg salad with nuts and a tangy clover classic mayo dressing to go with it. Now it's what we call a grand level up from the egg salads that we've come to know. Now Chef Siska, what do we need to put this together? So you are going to make a lovely salad for us on that side okay. um, with, with some nuts and seeds and lovely fresh herbs. And we are going to make some eggs. So we need quail's eggs, we need beautiful mints, and we need a little bit of spices to spice things up. Perfect. So in order for us to get this started, Balissa, mm. you're doing the salad, yes. So Siska and I are going to be making the scotch egg and the mints and so forth. Yes. I'm chopping up your chives for you. Thank you. And it's such a simple recipe because it's just a couple of ingredients that go into that mince. It's just pork mince, yeah. mustard, and chives and some salt and pepper. Yeah. That's it. That's so, it. Well, can mm. I ask you just to get our quail eggs into the water so long so they can start boiling? But we already have some that we've boiled a little earlier. So if you want, do you want to perhaps tell people how to determine whether an egg is boiled uh, to the right consistency? Yeah. So, so we had some boiled. Mm -hmm. um, Let me show you with this one here. Yeah. Let's cut it through. Let's cut it through. So this would be a soft boiled egg if you look at this little baby over here. So the yolk on the outside is nice and hard. I mean, the white. The white. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the white is nice and hard. And then the egg yolk on the center is nice and soft. So this is what we call, call a soft, soft boiled, boiled egg. egg. Obviously, the more you cook it, the longer you cook it, it goes from being this soft, going harder and harder and harder. So in essence, if we were using a big egg, we would say that this would be about a four to five minute boil. Five minute boil. Yeah. So to six minutes goes to medium. Six minutes is, would, would be more uh, like harder. Closer to yeah. hard. So four minutes would be soft, five minutes a bit harder, and then six minutes, seven minutes, you're getting to blue. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so in essence, now that you've mixed up our mix, uh, the mixture here, I'm going to start chopping yep. those chives for you. Um, what is the origin of, of scotch eggs? I think, according to my knowledge, I didn't even know about scotch eggs until I became a chef. Yes, sir. Apparently, it's not really Scottish. It's really? actually from, <laughs> Lon <laughs> from London. Wow. Um, and it's, you know, there's, there's two ways that they go about it. It could be that it's the, the gentleman was called Scotch. Mm. Okay. His surname was Scotch. Um, but the other story is that it was um, this company that had this beautiful traveling eggs that just had a bit more nutrients and it was easier for, like, yeah, for travels. Um, and that was the... Uh, posh boiled eggs <laughs> that they served. So yeah, London, <laughs> not so Scotland. I, it seems as if we are keeping things European today mm -hmm. when it comes to our beautiful egg recipes. I mean, even with the salad, it is super quick, super simple. I've already chopped up the greens and basically I'm just throwing everything in. I've got some raisins here. There we go. And I'm just gonna put that in there. And then Dumi, I hear I see we've got some more, a variation of seeds and nuts. Correct, Balissa. So it's a very nutty salad. Um, in there, a couple of different nuts. We've got some cashew nuts, pistachio nuts. We've got some sunflower seeds. We've got mm. some uh, pumpkin seeds as well. And all of that works well with the salad we're trying to make because the egg can be very rich with that yolk on the inside if you yeah. want it nice and soft. So we want something just to cut through that. But in order for us to get to the scotch part, we have to have uh, something to put the egg in, right? Yes. yes. Which is exactly. what you're doing now. This so is just exactly what I'm doing now, yeah. So. Yeah. So, so we can okay. either roll it out or we can just kind of press it out with the hand. So we, these ones, we put in the fridge a little bit just to kind of make it a bit more set. Okay. So you can either roll it between two pieces of That's baking what paper. what I'm going to do and you're going to do the Or you can just kind of <laughs> press it with your fingers, you know, <laughs> depending on what time you have, especially because we're using quail's eggs, so they're okay. so small, mm. you know. Now you when you're making um, such a delicious salad, I think that you have to pair it with an equally delicious dressing. Now for mm -hmm. the dressing, I'm going to be using some Clover Classic Mayo. Now Clover Classic Mayo is available right. in different levels of tanginess. Mild, which is number one, medium, number two, and strong three in this recipe. Now I love myself some number one because it also, I don't want to overpower the yeah. flavors that are going on. So I'm just going to put some level one mayo right here. 
And then I basically just do me mix everything else up. I'm gonna have some lemon juice in there. Here's some lemon. Um, and then to me, what is this? This looks like a mustard. Yes, Palisa, it is a mustard. Um, it just helps with that tanginess for this recipe that we're trying to make here. So it helps cut through. You know, any dressing is not, a, people don't consider a dressing a dressing unless it's got a bit of a zinc to it. Yep. yep. So that's what the mustard would help with over there. And we're continuing to bread our scotch eggs here. So we've started off with some flour. Some flour. And then uh, Cisco's going Some in eggs. with the egg. <laughs> so the whole idea is, in, in essence, a scotch egg would be an egg that's inside of meat filling of sort, right? Yes. In, in most yeah. cases. And you can use any kind of mince, really, that, that suits you. If you don't want pork, you can use chicken, you can use beef, you can even use a mixture. It doesn't have to be okay. specific. Perfect. Beautiful. So, Palisa, oh. we've got some that we've fried a little earlier. So, if you look at this, the eggs are nice and cooked. I'm just going to put them over here. And if possible, can I ask you just to Beautiful. give me some of your dressing and we'll just drizzle it over here. And this is how it comes out looking nice and delicious. That dressing that we've made a little earlier has a mixture of the yogurt, a mixture of the Clover Classic, and we've also got the honey and all that beautiful stuff in there. So this is our completed dish. Delicious Scotch quail eggs and our Clover Classic dressing. So to me, I just kind of did this and here we go. There we go, superstar nice. quality. Now, there is no doubt that this recipe will definitely be a crowd pleaser. And if you've missed out on any of the steps, just head over to afternoonexpress.co.za to get the full ingredients list and recipe. There we go. There is a classic mayonnaise that brings out the traditional French in three levels of tanginess. The mild classic, the medium classic, the strong classic. Tangy, the way you love it. Made with love by Clover.